Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at some software to see whether it really fixes your PC and speeds up your PC. There's some bold claims out there from some websites that say this software can actually enhance your performance on your PC and that's what we're going to be talking about. So first up, we're going to be talking about this one here. You can see here, this one is the editor's choice for PCMag.com. It's optimization, it's got antivirus, privacy protection, password management, malware removal, hardware protection, uh, hard drive protection, and also file recovery. So that's a pretty much an all-in-one uh, piece of software. This is the way these companies are going nowadays, and this is $63.94. But when you come down, you'll see this area here that makes really big, bold claims like faster startup, 89% faster start startup on your PC. That is a real massive, bold claim. And again, is it going to be able to do that? Probably not. You know, faster downloads. It's going to make a few registry changes to your network settings on your registry. This can actually hinder and cause problems if you uh, are running this on your system because no network is the same and no uh, internet package is the same. So faster downloads up to 39%. Improved CPU speed, 89%. And then we've got improved graphics, 8.6%, and then improved drive, uh, which is 18%. And this is basically how they sell this particular type of software, by giving you big, large numbers with percentages on them to try and pull you in and say, this is what we can do with our software. And they're not the only one. There's tons of software that actually say this and do this all the time. And it's been going on for a very long time. And they normally back this up with sort of websites like Tech Radar and PC Editor's Choice and uh, Top 10 Reviews and things like this, and there's more. And what they do is they ask them to pay for a review and they will use their logo or their face and they'll put a little bit of a, a description there. And really, they use links on their websites. They write articles on them and they have affiliate links where you click on them and they will get a little kickback. And, of course, it makes good sense for them because... If they say it's really, really good and you go clicking on it and buying it, they get a little bit of a kickback. So this is what you've got to be careful of on the Internet today because there's a lot of that that goes on. So when you start downloading, you're going to get this area here. I'll start to download and it will get problem downloading system mechanic and it will call us. And you can see there's some links here and some information. But we'll get this installed and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm not going to install every piece of software. But I'm going to show you some other software that out there that is doing the same sort of sales pitch so let's go ahead and uh, put this on the system don't worry i'll be taking it off immediately afterwards and you can read all the terms and conditions and uninstall instructions here uh, but basically once you get this installed it's going to make my pc super fast and I won't need to buy a new computer because we're going to be getting super fast performance boosts out of using this software. If you believe that, then you're more of a fool than, uh, you know. So you can see here, it's now running a scan on my system and analyzing my system. And this is the actual software here. So we're on a trial basis here. So let me just skip this process here. Now it's going to go ahead and clean up and repair my system. Item scanned, issues found. It's done that scan. Issues found, 4,443. Now this is exactly what they do, these companies. They will call it an issue, when really it's not an issue. It's just junk files, internet junk files. And this is how they get their uh, fear into you thinking that you've got massive problems with your PC because you've got 4,443. And all they are is just junk files. And if you look here, browser cache, that's all it is. And you can do that inside Windows without this software. And again, registry issues. Go here, invalid uninstallers. These are just leftover remnants for when you've uninstalled a program auto run programs and again other just stuff that you don't need on your system so there's nothing bad here that 
really would cause the PC any problems. But once you remove all this stuff, it's just going to, it's not going to, that's not going to speed up your PC to 89%. This is just uh, browser cleaning and also registry uh, areas, which are inside the uninstallers here for your uninstall area in the registry. Now, another piece of software I see getting floated around on websites and on forums and other uh, places is this uh, Restoro, which is supposed to be a piece of software that's going to, you know, make your PC faster, remove any sort of threats, clean out the registry, all that sort of stuff. The same sort of thing. And uh, you can go through here and you can see the software here. And it does a similar sort of thing. So uh, there you go. Clear, faulty files. And this is uh, another piece of software I see people installing to try and resolve issues on their PC here. So fix error messages, repair virus damage, and so on. Repair DLL files and replace DLL files. And you can see here the basic one, one time use. And you can see it right there, what it does. And then the premium one, the one license, one year for £25. There's always a discount, like I said. And again, you'd buy this thinking it's going to resolve your problem. And there'll be no guarantee that it will fix your problem. And that's not there issue that you'll buy it and there'll be no guarantee that it is going to work and they'll just say yeah but there's no guarantee and you've just now spent 25 pounds and 95 pence trying to fix an issue and it can't do it and that's uh, a lot of the problem with these programs this is another one uh outbite which does the same thing driver updaters and pc repair does the same sort of thing here and they use gem they generally use uh feedback from other other people that have got reputation and that helps sell the product. Another one is system cleaners. Speed up and opt optimize your PC with C Cleaner. And uh, you can see here, this was pretty big in the day. It had a bit of a scare back in the day with some issues. I think it's owned by Avast now, but you can see here, if you buy the pro version, you get some extra bits on here like driver updaters. And again, they're another one that uh, does this sort of thing, driver updaters that push it to try and get sales and try to get you to buy something that you don't really need. And again, you can go through here. And it's a, uh, we asked Passmark, a third party software testing specialist to put CCleaner through its paces. I mean, and then you've got a clock here with super fast speeds. They're using names from reputable companies so they can help sell uh, their product. That's the thing. Faster start, better performance, and more room. Well, of course, it's going to delete junk files. They're not lying uh, because they're saying it's going to delete junk files, better performance, and then faster start, removing startup items from the startup list, which you can just do quickly by right-clicking on the taskbar and open up Task Manager and, again, taking out startup items. If that's what they're claiming, then they've not lied but makes your PC 53% faster, gives PC 28% more memory. There you go. And there's other software companies like Avast that have jumped on there as well that are doing the same thing, uh, you know, offering software. So it's gone backwards, really. It, this sort of stuff went away a little bit, but it's made a bit of a comeback where they can make money from, you know, mis-selling software to people where they don't need it because it's not going to fix all your PC problems. And it's not going to do other stuff that they claim on here, removes bloatware and stuff like that. You see, this is where people fall for this sort of uh, stuff. Uh, they'll end up buying it thinking it's going to fix problems, and it won't. And you can see here's another one here that does the same thing. So let's talk about driver software next. So I see a lot of people uh, downloading and installing Driver Booster and Driver Max and other software like these that will claim to, you know, make your PC faster by, you know, installing drivers. It's not going to do that. And again, these are all related to the speed up process and other things like cleaning up your PC, optimizing your PC. They're the same companies that offer every solution, which is drivers as well. And you can see here, it will do the same sort of thing. And it will sometimes make claims of speeding up your uh, PC as well. So if you look here, again, what they do is they will get 
known uh, people on the internet to recommend downloading and using this software because they're affiliated and that's the thing. So you can see a couple here. And basically that's what they do. It's, it's, you don't really need software like this to uh, download drivers. Windows will do it normally for you. And uh, you can go to the manufacturer's website and download all those drivers if you wanted to. And if they're not there because you've got a really, really old system, then you can use uh, you know, other methods to get drivers as well. But Microsoft is pretty good at finding all the drivers for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So if you're running Windows 10 and Windows 11, it generally does a pretty good job. But if you've installed Windows 10 on a 11, 15-year-old laptop, uh, you might sometimes have the odd driver that you can't find, and you might need to try to look for that driver ID so you can find it yourself and download it. Sometimes manufacturers will cease uh, downloads for driver updates for that particular device because now it's end of life and they just don't want to support it anymore. And that's where people uh, end up going for something like this and downloading software to try and find those drivers. But you don't need to pay for them, that's for sure. You can get for free and you'll be able to get those drivers. And if you look here, you can see they also do Win Optimizer and uh, Uninstaller and also Zip Pro. Zip software as well as another one, uh, people paying for you know, WinRAR and other software like that, which you don't have to do anymore, but people still get caught up because they're trapped in, in the 80s and stuff where they were using this software. They still think they need it. But you can use uh, free software, which will do the same thing. And if you go online and search for any sort of article online, it'll be how to speed up Windows, and you'll see remove startup programs, defrag your hard drive, clean for malware, and other nasties on there, you know, all that sort of stuff, visual effects and things like that, driver updates, free up this space, install faster software and upgrade your hardware. These are the sort of things that you're going to see being rehashed over and over again. And then most of these will have affiliate links to those particular types of software, which when you click on them, they get a kickback and people buy worthless pieces of software that they don't need. Okay, so when you look on the article a bit further down, you're going to see links and affiliate links to those sites to what they're talking about because they can get a kickback on these uh, sort of links you can see here iobit site here and you come down a bit further you're going to see uh, links to software which is for antivirus and when you click on them again these will be affiliate links as you can see here affiliate okay so sometimes they don't have your best interest at art it's all about uh, you know, making money. So they'll write articles and they'll rehash these and keep reposting them with different titles because they know they're going to get searched for and people will search for them. And again, they will read it and they'll, they will go ahead and click on the links that they're recommending, especially if it's a trustworthy site that's been around for a long time. And you'll get other ones like driver booster being recommended here. Again, they probably wouldn't recommend driver booster uh, normally, but because it makes them some money, they're just going to recommend it. And uh, you can see here. So, and this is how these sites uh, sort of make their money uh, is through uh, ad campaigns and affiliates. And again, there's tons of sites out there. The best programs to speed up your PC, to delete junk files and optimize Windows. And you go through the list here. And of course, it's going to be using the same old uh, IOBit advanced system care. And you come down and you're going to see the same sort of software. These are probably all affiliate links. When you click on them and they get a kickback and normally that's how they do it so don't always believe every article you read online because it doesn't necessarily mean that they have your best interest at heart and if you look here these are the sort of sites you're going to come stumbling across when you're searching for these sort of terms because they make new articles every single day and they just keep competing with each other and they don't just own one site they own a bunch of them and they're all related to the same people and they just make money on these sort of articles, as you can see here. These sort of things here, PC Tune-Up Pro, Avast, they're all the same thing. They all do the same thing, which is nothing to your PC. And uh, literally, they have got this down as a couple of stars here. People probably bought it and realized that it doesn't do what it actually says on the tin. So when you are clicking on these, what it's going to do, uh, it will give you a discount. As always, they offer big, massive discounts. Don't miss out. Claim it now. They've got the 
comments coming up here from people saying works great, fantastic, all that sort of stuff. And when you click on this, it will take you to an affiliate page where you can then buy it and you get even more discount, as you can see here. And you end up paying your money here. And that's it. You don't really need this sort of stuff. But this is how they uh, suck you in, really. So be careful when you stumble across articles like this online or things like this online because they're not really going to do anything for your PC. And the same thing for AVG and Avast and other companies like this. None of this stuff is actually going to do anything for you. So anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. So I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Uh, so don't always believe everything you read online and don't always fall for those types of programs when you see it's going to make your PC faster because it simply doesn't. You can just do a lot of that stuff with built-in applications on Windows and save yourself some money. I see so many of these programs installed on people's PCs and basically they've been duped into thinking that uh, it's going to do something or fix a problem when it actually doesn't and sometimes makes it worse. You're going to have more services and more issues and more processes running on the PC. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. Just want to say a quick special shout out to GeoSam, Welsh Tony One, and also Albert Houston, who have joined my tier three YouTube members group. Also, a big shout out to all my other YouTube members who have joined. I really do appreciate the support. And uh, I shall catch you in the next one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely rest of the weekend, and I'll catch you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.